Welcome to Barrack Mitsubishi, my name is Mason and today we're doing a walk around video on this 2019 MY20 Mitsubishi Triton GLX Plus. Now these are a 4x4 um, dual cab as well so they do come with also that extra space um, and the flexibility of using a 4x4 drive, uh, driving system. Now take a look at the front end of this car, you do get um, that updated look which is uh, pretty much across the range now with all the Triton, it's a new um, facelift uh, this has also been incorporated into the Pajero Sport models it's quite a sharp futuristic design now on the GLX pluses you do get the black plastic front end um, which is just to stop anything expensive from getting damaged and you've also got the Mitsubishi badging right in the middle there as we come across in the front bar you get your fog lamps fitted and your indicators and up above that is your nice sharp long headlights with your projector globes fitted in there and your high beam just on the inside of the headlight now as we come across the side um, now this car, I'm not going to touch too much on the condition of the car as it is pretty much a brand new car, never been registered. Um, it's in excellent condition, pretty much brand new um, showroom condition. Now that first alloy, you do get a multi-spoke alloy rim in the GLX Plus models, not like your GLXs which get a steel with a hubcap. These are a genuine alloy rim. Now these tyres obviously have plenty of tread on them as they are pretty much brand new tyres. Coming across the side, the GLX Plus does also get the side step fitted into the car as per factory um, and they also come with the plastic side mirrors and door handles again to prevent anything expensive from getting damaged. These are very uh, cheap, much cheaper to replace than the chrome finishes on the higher models. Now the indicator lamp is also fitted into this quarter panel for you just to improve the visibility of your indicating. Uh, GLX models, GLX Plus models or all the GLX models I should say come with a standard key. Um, you do lock and unlock that using the key and if you take a look inside do notice you do get the clutch seats with the dual tone and the vinyl floors just to make it easier to clean and maintain a car especially if you're going to be using this for working purposes do get that if you did want to fit it out with some rubber floor mats or carpet floor mats we can do that for you condition however like i said apart from a little bit of dirt on the inside it is actually in very good nick and you've also got that scuff plate there on the inside to help getting in and out of the car and prevent any paint from getting damaged now opening up the back you can take a look in the back as well um, lots of room um, now one thing that's quite unique about these tritons is what they call the j-line now what that is is this nice little curve at the back here a lot of people question it whether they like it or not but there are a lot of benefits to this curve now there are three particular things one being the shorter wheelbase as it goes in closer there the wheelbase is a lot closer together so you get a tighter turning circle just about here you also get a 25 degree hip flex angle now the benefit of that is instead of the seat sitting straight it does sit slightly tilted so you do get more leg room and more headroom so if I was to hop into the back here now I'm about six foot you got lots of room here I still got room in here and I'm sure there's plenty of room for the driver to actually sit inside the seat and still do what they need to do and I also got the headroom in the back I'm closing it up as we come across to the tailgate again second alloy like I said not going to touch on the condition as it is a brand new car and you come across to the tub at the back QLX pluses do come fitted with um, reverse parking sensors fitted onto the uh, front of the uh, sorry back of that bar and a reverse camera just on the tailgate here now if you did want to get a tow bar fitted that'll come out just under there and you'll be able to see that quite clearly if you want to open this up Lots of space in the back here. I do highly recommend getting a tub liner, especially on a car like this, which is red. Do want to make sure you keep that paintwork looking this good all the way through the ownership of the car. Nice long tail lights. Do get your indicators, reverse and braking lights. Um, and coming across the side, fuel filler cap is on the passenger side of the car, which is the safe side. So if you do have to pull over in case of emergency, you're going to be nice and safe for many oncoming traffic. Now, pretty standard um, across the Triton range. So what we're going to do now is pop the hood and take a look inside look inside the engine bay of the Triton. Now what we have here is Mitsubishi's iconic four-cylinder 2.4 litre turbo diesel motor. Now this comes this this particular car comes fitted with a six-speed automatic gearbox so lots more gears to move through and plenty of torque and power when you do need it especially when you are towing and carrying a heavy payload around. Now this car is a five-star ANCAP rating with seven airbags plenty of safety for all the passengers in the car. The motor itself produces 133 kilowatts with 430 newton meters of, uh, meters of torque and this car has a 3.1 ton towing capacity with a 450 payload as well. Now the diesel fuel tank is 75 litres, does have a combined fuel consumption of 8.6 litres per 100 kilometres or an average fuel distance of about 872 kilometres off a full tank depending on how you drive, whether you're towing and how much weight you're carrying around.
Taking a look inside the Triton now. Pretty pretty nice car on the inside, I gotta say. These are probably one of my favorite utes on the market at the moment, and that's not a biased opinion. Um, we'll run through pretty much the features that you get in the GLX Plus model. Now, starting off on the driver's side door, do get all your window controls. Your driver's side is fully automatic up and down. Rest are just standard power windows, which you do need to control yourself. Above that is your window, uh, window lock as well to stop everyone from playing around with um, the windows in the car. And on the right side of the dash, a few of your safety features. So just on the top right here, firstly, that's your power mirror settings. Now you can adjust that accordingly. Um, in the GLX Pluses, they don't fold in. If you lock it and there is no button for it, you can just manually fold them in there if you do want to keep your side mirrors nice and safe. Below that is, like I said, the safety features. So the first one on the left here is your stability control. The next one is your lane departure warning and your forward collision mitigation system and a blank spot there if you did want to add like an electric brake kit to your tow pack. Now, if you need more um, information as to what these are, please ask us when you do come in, but we will be happy to explain that to you. Now, down here is your fuel release cap and your hood release is just on the bottom of that A-pillar there. Taking a look at the steering wheel, a nice vinyl steering wheel. Um, Quite a beautiful design. Now this is also a pretty standard design across the Pajero Sports and all the Tritons. It's quite a nice looking um, leather stitch um, kind of look to the actual horn bit. And on the right hand side of the steering wheel are your cruise control settings and speed limiter. Below that is a little card option. Now that is for the display in your dash there. That's gonna show you a trip A, trip B, average fuel consumption and fuel distance. And on the left hand side are your media controls. So source, vol volume with the trigger, and your seek options. And below that is call, reject, and voice control for your CarPlay um, system. Now on the right hand side is your left and right indicator, your fog lamp controls and headlights. In the GLX Plus models, you do get an automatic headlight system or a dusk sensing system it'll sense when it needs to use it and on the left hand side are your wipers and washers um, for the car uh, and again they are automatic rain sensing so you can just leave it in auto car's going to decide when it needs to turn them on coming over to the entertainment system now you get a pretty standard head unit in these they do come with um, apple carplay and android auto as well as am fm radio and digital radio bluetooth connect and um, usb connect as well so pretty much everything you could possibly need now there is a gps system that is just for your longitude latitude it doesn't actually give you the maps if you did want to run your maps you will need to run it through your android auto apple carplay now we'll be happy to set this up for you when you do come in below that is your climate control so single zone you've got temperature here fan speed here and all your different mode options um, hazards nice and easy to access a passenger airbag indicator when it's off you can turn your passenger airbag off in case you want to keep a car seat at the front here but since it's a dual cab you can just keep them at the back you've got more blank spaces here if you did want to add any extra extra accessories on the car your parking sensor button which you can turn that off if that gets a bit annoying and a rear diff lock um, button to turn that on and off if you want to do any light forward driving you also get two usb inputs a hdmi input and a 12 volt socket for any extra charging a storage compartment below that and a nice gear shifter where if i put that into reverse you'll see that reverse camera that i was talking about on the outside of the video so you can see the rear bar there your tow bar will be sitting right in the middle there quite clearly for you to see to line up easily now if i bring this down into drive and actually flick it to the right that'll engage your sports shift system so you've got up and down gears if you did need a little bit more extra control over the car itself you can just leave it in drive car's going to decide when it needs to um, how it needs to drive Behind that is our um, four-wheel drive selector. So you've got two high, four high, and four low. You can switch into any of your high settings going up to 100 kilometers per hour. In your low settings, you probably want to be in neutral or pulled over. Behind that, you've got two uh, cup holders, a nice handbrake, and a leather stitch center console armrest. If I lift that up, you get plenty and plenty of storage in there, as well as a 12-volt socket for any extra charging or any additional accessories you'll be fitting on the car. And Get the camera person to pan around just to talk a bit, little bit about what's in the interior. You've got a really nice dashing, um, standard airbags up here. You've also got airbags down here for the driver by your knees. So you've got knee airbags. Um, there is a lock for this as well if you don't want to store anything in there. Um, above here, there is a compartment to drop down if you want to keep your sunnies and shades. And one of the best things about these GLX models in the MY20s is this setup here now this is a rear vent circulation system that is going to allow for airflow through to the back of the cabin for the passengers in the back who wants a bunch of smelly tradies sitting around in the car so you've got your rear vent circulation to circulate air to the back there is a button here which turns on and off your rear vent circulation but there are also controls here if the passengers in the back wanted to control this you've got on and off and turn your fan speed down and up and you've got lights as well so I get the camera person again, keep panning, the bit of storage compartment here, and I believe 
no no USB so storage compartment there and lots of space in the back and you can see the vinyl floors continue all the way through to the back of the car as well now there are car seat um, mounting points they are on the back of these seats you can pull that seat forward mount those car seats bring it back and you've also got ISO fix points at the back as well so pretty much everything you could possibly need now what we're going to do is jump outside and wrap up this video Thank you so much for watching the walk around video on this 2019 MY20 Mitsubishi Triton GLX Plus in a 4x4 uh, dual cab auto. Now I hope this video gave you a good representation as to what exactly you get in a GLX Plus model and some of the features that it covers as well. Now you do get pretty much most of the range in terms of features and safety features and accessories so please speak to us about these options. Now if you did have any additional questions, wanted to test drive it, I actually wanted to purchase this red one before you came in, you can do that. The number to dial is 99070555. Just before I go though, this car qualifies for what we call our Platinum One program. Now what that will offer you as a buyer is five years additional protection, like for like new car warranty, um, up to 200,000 kilometers. Now, if you do plan on keeping these for a long time and using these for work and towing around, you also get the added benefit of 10 years platinum roadside assistance nationwide. So if you are towing a camper van, a caravan or something behind you, they will tow an extra three and a half ton on top of your car if required. Now, in addition to this, I do highly recommend you talk to us about our glass coat and tinting. That is gonna give you a lifetime warranty on this beautiful red paintwork. It's gonna make it a lot easier for you to clean and maintain and protect it from all the harsh environmental factors that can damage and contaminate this beautiful red paintwork. And we can package that in with some tinting. Now, we do also know the added benefits of tint and we do highly recommend it. So, please speak to us about these two options. They are, however, at an additional cost, but if you are speaking to our in-house finance, I would love to introduce you to our business managers, Julie and Mario, who show just some minimal diesel really affect your repayments. Now lastly, but most importantly, please jump onto Google and check out Beric Mitsubishi's Google reviews. With over 1,100 reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars, it gives you as a buyer the assurance that you're dealing with the right people, the right kind of business, and, a, and you're getting a good quality vehicle. Now as I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 99070555. My name is Nathan, and thank you so much for watching.